That should do it. Another mystery solved. Yes, and guess who the greatest detectives are? I got this one. Scooby Doo, hands down. No, no Uncle Ben. ben. We are the greatest detectives. Hello, we just solved another mystery, bringing our total count to three for the whole entire year. Yes. I, I, you know, I can't wait for the next mystery. Speaking of mystery, who are you two? How are you a detective? All right, I think that was the chicken. I'm gonna okay, go grab Sit the down, chicken. sit down. That was not the chicken. That's the doorbell. How many times have we got to talk about that? This is the doorbell. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Guys, we got another mystery in just oh, now. I got a mystery. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to stop what did it. it say? What did it say? Ben, I didn't even open it yet. Well, I hope it's my prescription. It is a mystery, not a prescription, you old man. Call me old one more time. All right. Let's old. say be quiet and listen to this. We have a new mystery. It's a letter from Jimmy in Pembroke Pines, mm. Florida. He wrote us a story we need to solve. Listen up. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to bring his accounts up to date with servants who had borrowed money from him. In the process, one of his debtors was brought in who owed him millions of dollars. He couldn't pay, so his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and everything he owned to pay that debt. But the man fell down before his master and begged him, Please be patient with me and I will pay it all. Then his master was filled with pity for him and he released him and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. He grabbed him by the throat and demanded instant payment. Mm -hmm. His fellow servant fell down before him and begged for a little more time. Be patient with me and I will pay it, he pleaded. But his creditor wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Should you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be tortured until he paid his entire debt. That's why my heavenly father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your hearts. Okay, I got this. This is an easy mystery. I solved it already. This oh. isn't going to take any work. Okay, you ready for this? Forgiveness is only something you do when you get something back for it. So if you're not going to get anything back from the person forgiving you, you don't need to forgive. Case solved. Mystery over. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like, it's okay that I still haven't forgiven my sister for spilling coffee in my wedding dress. Forgiveness, schmargiveness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Listen, kids. No, that's not the answer. Here's the real answer. Mm -hmm. You guys ready for this? Yes. Forgiveness is like a mask. You smell your breath. What? Well, that's another one in the books. Next. Okay, before we do the next mystery, I'm kind of tired after solving all these mysteries right now, so I need to take a coffee break, get some caffeine. Can I borrow your truck, Uncle Ben? Yeah, go ahead. Just make sure you don't do the speed limit. Don't do the speed limit. No. Do the speed limit and bring me a coffee. You know what I like? I know. You like the frou-frou drink. Time to get some coffee. All right. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Back it up here. <laughs> Uncle Ben? Uncle Ben? Uncle Ben! Oh, how can I help you, sir? Okay, I have some really bad news. What? We've all seen your haircut. It's okay. It's not my haircut. Okay, here's the bad news. Remember how you let me borrow your truck to go get coffee? <laughs> okay, so as I was backing up, I accidentally hit a pole, and now there's a big, huge dent. So can you please forgive me? I didn't mean to do it. Yeah, of course I forgive you. But besides, the, the truck is just the material thing. And by the way, I don't even have a truck. What are you talking about? Yes, you do have a truck. I literally just Brad, drove Brad, your truck. Brad, Brad, Brad? Yes. I'm sorry. For what? 
Mm, I have some bad news. You seen this after too? Okay, guys. With Not now, Uncle Ben. This is serious. So I wanted to celebrate solving another mystery because we're on such a roll. So I thought, oh, I'll go outside and go by the pool. But I also wanted to play Among Us, but my phone was dead. So when I was thinking, I saw your Apple Watch on the table. So I was like, oh, perfect. I can go outside and still play Among Us. So I was by the pool, but then I got hot and I wanted to go swimming. Mm -hmm. And I remembered I should take your Apple Watch be off before I go swimming. Yes. And I did. Okay, that's good news. Okay, but now it's where it goes a little bad. Hmm. Okay, I'm sorry, but when I was taking it off, I dropped it and it broke. You broke my watch, my favorite watch? You're gonna have to pay me back and buy me another one. You know what? I will never forgive you. Never forgive you. Never? Wait, 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 guys. Guys, come here. Uncle Ben, wake up, wake up. We had the mystery all wrong. I think I just figured out the mystery here. You see, the story that Jesus is telling, he is letting us know that God has forgiven us for all of our sins, for every bad thing we've ever done, that because he's forgiven us of our sins, we should be willing to forgive others when they ask us for forgiveness. That's what Jesus means. So... I'm sorry, Kelly. Um, Uncle Ben forgave me when I wrecked his truck and put a dent in it. So I also should forgive you as well. Thank you. I get it now, though. So forgiving others is something Jesus expects from us, even when it's hard and difficult. Because when we forgive others, we're living like Jesus. Yes, precisely. We must forgive others because Jesus forgave us. Yes. Mystery solved. Let me write this answer down for Jimmy. Forgive others as Jesus has forgiven us. Awesome. Well, let's pray before we send that letter off to Jimmy and thank God for the forgiveness, forgiveness he's given us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you have forgiven us all of our sins. And Father, we thank you for the opportunity that we have to forgive others when they ask us for forgiveness. So Father, give us a heart that will forgive others as you've forgiven us. Amen. Amen. Amen.